What's up guys, this is Cody here, and as you guys know, version 1.1.0 of Pokemon Go came out today and killed our ultimate hack. Well, in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to get that back working in the most absolutely easiest way possible. And this is going to work for Windows and Mac. The process is exactly the same. So before we get into it, I do want to show you that if we look at our App Store, you can see some of the changes that we have here. And I just want to show you that we have removed the footprints from nearby Pokemon. So that's basically how I'm going to show you that this is going to be working on the most updated version. Because the version in the game actually isn't 1.1.0, so it's a little bit different. And of course, you do not have to be jailbroken in order to do this. So if we go ahead and swipe over here to Pokemon Go and open that up, you can see here that we have the hack working. So we have all of the options here. If we go into the settings and then we uh, toggle on fake location, we can actually get all those options right there on the side. And you can see that if we go into our settings right here, they run version 0.31.0 which is actually the latest version. You can see right here, if we go ahead and open this up, we do not have the footprints anymore. So that's basically why I was showing you that in the app update. So I do wanna give you a quick rundown of this tweak if this is the first uh, video that you guys have seen. If you have seen this and you know what the tweak does and all the features included, then you can skip ahead a little bit in the video just to get to the process. But I do wanna go over this real quick. So we have the M button, which is the menu button. So you can tap right here to basically uh, expand or collapse the menu. Then you can tap right here to open up your settings so you can show your joystick and that's your joystick right there which is basically going to allow you to walk without having tap to walk enabled. You also have enhanced throw so that's going to make throwing the Pokeball at Pokemon a whole lot easier. You also have the fake location uh, toggle. So if you don't see all of the options right here then that's what you need to toggle on. So we'll toggle on fake location and you can see it's going to give you all of those options again. You can also turn on time to save location. So this is going to basically set the amount of time that it's going to save your location after you close out of the application. So we go back here, you can also see the speed, which you can change from walking, running to driving, which you can also change over here uh, in our little menu, which I'll show you that here in just a second. And we also have dismiss map on walk here. So I'll toggle that on, I'll show you what that does. We also have the creators down here, Will mm -hmm. Cobb, as well as Unlim Apps. They work together to bring us this, so big props to them. But let's go ahead and close out of this now. And if we look over here, you can see that we have a map. So if we tap on the map, this is going to basically give us all the Pokemon in our area. So if we tap on one, just drop the pin on them and tap walk here, then we're going to walk directly to that Pokemon, which he's just right there, so he's not very far away. We also have the patrol mode, so if you tap on that, then you're going to patrol around, would basically allow you to hatch eggs a whole lot easier. And while these are popped up, you can see, if we just tap on one, he's actually going to walk directly to that Pokemon. So he'll stand over until it reveals himself, and you can see how that works right there. Now here's where you're going to actually change the speed in which you can walk. So you can go from one times, two times, to four times the speed. And if you want to tap to walk, you just have to toggle this on right here, and then obviously you can tap anywhere on the map to walk. So it's as simple as that. So if we turn this off and we tap right here on home, then it's actually going to bring us back home. And this is something that you wanna do before you close out of the application every single time because otherwise, if you close out of the application and you're way away from where you actually are in real life, then it's going to teleport you. And that's how you get soft bands. If you teleport from pretty far locations, then that's when the developers of Pokemon Go are gonna notice it and they're going to soft ban you. So you can also see right here that we have an H at the very bottom and that's going to allow you to hide the menu. So you tap right there and it hides it. So you can see to show the menu again, just triple tap on the screen. So you just triple tap on the screen to bring that back up. So that is a quick rundown of everything that you can do in this tweak on a non jailbroken device. So let's go ahead and show you how to actually get this on your device and it's insanely simple. So before we get started, what we wanna do is delete Pokemon Go from our device. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So now let's switch over to my computer. Now there's gonna be two things that you wanna download. One of them is Cydia Impactor, which is right here. And I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to just click on that and download. And it's gonna look just like this. So you can see you have Mac OS as well as Windows and Linux. So of course, if you're on a Windows computer, just download the Windows version. If you're on a Mac, download the Mac version. Again, this process is exactly the same and a whole lot easier than the previous version of how to do this. So once you download Cydia Impactor, the only other thing that you need is ppsideloader.ipa. And I'm gonna put a link in the description below for you guys. You just click on it, download it, and then throw it on your desktop and do exactly what I'm about to do right here. So all you need to do at this point, after you've downloaded and installed Cydia Impactor and downloaded this IPA right here, 
you just want to plug in your device make sure it's recognized by city impact or just by you know seeing it right here and then all you have to do drag the ipa onto city impactor and then sign in to your itunes email or your icloud email or your apple id All right, so I went ahead and signed in. You could get a pop-up right here that says Impactor wants to export key access from your keychain. So go ahead and allow that, that's fine. And then it's going to sign that IPA with your Apple ID and then install it directly onto your device. And that is all you have to do. You don't have to download Xcode. You don't have to download a clean IPA and patch it with the hack and then sign it and then install it like we had to do in our last video. This is a pre-patched IPA that I was basically talking about in the previous video. Some of you guys didn't really understand what I meant. This is what I meant right here, this IPA. So once we get this, you can just drop it on Impactor like I just did, and it's gonna install on the device right here. So you should see it show up here pretty quickly on the second page of our springboard. All right, so there it is literally took about 45 seconds and now when we tap on it you are going to have to trust the developer and the developer is actually the apple id that you inputted so you can see right here we'll just go into general and then scroll all the way down here tap on device management tap on your apple id that you inputted for this and then trust it and that's literally it now we can swipe back over here open it up and this is going to be the newest version of Pokemon Go like I mentioned before. So I know a lot of you guys were upset when the new update came out and broke your Pokemon Go hack, but hopefully you didn't have to suffer too long because I got this video out pretty quick. All right guys, so I'm signed in here and you can see it is working flawlessly. Again, if you only get that much of your features showing, remember to turn on fake location and then they all show up. Again, we can tap right here we don't have the footprints, so we know that this is the newest version of Pokemon Go. Now there is one small downside to this, and that is that you have to repeat this process every week. So basically what you would want to do is delete Pokemon Go off your phone and then just drag that IPA back onto City Impactor with your phone plugged into the device. So it's really not that big of a deal as long as you have access to a computer. But the reasoning for that is because the certificate 